Well, hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Don Morelli with you here on iFiber Channel 1 News. Your weather forecast overnight tonight through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, all brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. The big news is a chill is developing. Probably already felt it, especially the northern viewers today. Colder for a few days, but then a little bit milder as we slide into the weekend. And the next precipitation threat is a about seven days away at least. Maybe next Tuesday we'll start talking about a little precipitation. Until then, it's actually going to be rather quiet in the old weather department here in I Fiber Channel 1 News Weather Center. 57 degrees this afternoon, and actually it was more like the mid to late morning hours, was the warmest part of the day. Winds shifting to the northwest and north right now and bringing the cooler temperatures. 40 the overnight low. That hundredths of an inch of precipitation was just before midnight last night. Didn't have much in the way of precipitation since the midnight hour. Also, in Moses Lake, similar story, a hundredth of an inch of precipitation. 59, I think that was about a 11 o'clock temperature, a.m. It was around the noon hour, I think. 45 degrees was the morning low. Look at the daytime high, it should be 44, so even the morning low was above that because we had a little bit of clouds and that southwest wind really kicked in around the midnight hour. The temperatures actually held steady or rose most of the night. Well, we're falling now with the temperature, 46 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and the breeze, as mentioned, shifting to the northwest, a little gusty. In fact, speaking of the winds, they were up to 40, 50 mile an hour at times with that southwest ahead of that front, so a little blustery. You can see the past 24 hours, the moisture moving on through, and as the storm moves on through, again, clockwise winds around us, so once it kicked to the east, our winds shifted to the north. But until then, boy, it was blustery and quite mild. Here we go, overnight tonight, clearing skies will continue. All the moisture moving on off towards the south and east. This moisture toward the north and west will stay away, so we're looking for clear skies for the most part the next couple of days. It's just going to be darn right chilly. Temperatures in some areas could be in the teens to wake up to in some of the mornings. So again, get ready for a bit of a chill. By Saturday, though, we'll start seeing a southerly wind return and temperatures will start moderating just a bit. But statewide, generally in the 40s and western areas, with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Look at the temperatures, only in the 30s in the northwest, low 30s at that, and then Columbia Basin. We're looking for, again, a sunny day, but still pretty chilly. Normally 43, 44 the daytime high, so a little bit below the seasonal levels. And we'll remain below seasonal levels for the next uh, three days, it looks like. But look at those morning temperatures, especially Thursday morning in the teens. But then we see a little warm up before we see some clouds and moisture coming on back by the early portion midweek next week. But until then, pretty, pretty quiet. Again, your forecast brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Stay tuned. Sports is next.